Hi, this video will be a product comparison video between BeInstant and Datadog. In this comparison, we'll discuss many things, such as the installation process, data quality, CPU usage, memory usage, global percentile, and price. To make the comparison a bit more fair, we decided to create fresh accounts on both profiles and install the exact same script on both. So firstly, I will show you the installation process. For BeInstant, it is simple as copying this command, SSHing into your server, and pasting. And then for Datadog, this process is nearly the exact same. Now that the agents are installed in their respective servers, I'll show you the script we're going to run. So the script is a very simple one. All it does is publishes a random number between 0 and 100 as many times as it can every minute. So I'm now going to pause the video to let the data accumulate for some time so we can give a proper comparison. Now that data has accumulated, let's begin by looking at the data quality. We'd expect the larger amount of data points to be sent that the average would be close to about 50. So let's look at the instant first. As we can see here, it's a perfectly straight line, with the average being just about 50. If we take a look at the max, we'd expect it to be close to 100. As you can see, it is either 100 or just about off. The min we'd expect to be close to zero. And let's say the 95th percentile, we'd expect to be close to 95. The reason for this accuracy is due to our efficient scalable system that is, that is coded in C++. Now let's navigate to Datadog to see how it compares. As we can see here, there's no consistency between the average here, with it being up as high as about 91 and as low as about 10.16. If we look at the, the maximum and the minimum, we can see it is also nowhere near zero. I'm confident that the number of data points being sent here is very low because it is. If we take a look at the sum of all the data points, we can see it never exceeds 100. Due to this, I think we can deduce that there's only about one or max two data points being sent every minute. Not only can we collect more data points, but we also retain them for much longer. At five years, unlike Datadog, which retains it for a max of 15 months. To see the amount of data points our stats agent collects, you need only look at the sum of every minute. So let's check it out. As you see here, Every minute, the sum of all the data points appears to be 50 million or above. Assuming we get the largest random number possible, every go, that means we must have at a minimum 500,000 data points. However, chances are there's a lot more than this, as we've probably got random numbers such as 1, 13, 48, and so on. Looking back at Datadog, we can see here that the sum never exceeds 100. Therefore, it is clear that we are collecting much more data points. Additionally, while the script we ran previously is using UDP, our SATSP agent is fully capable of using TCP also, unlike Datadog, which is limited to using UDP. Our platform is also fully capable of handling high cardinality data. We expect, therefore, with, with B instant consuming so much data, that there be memory issues. Well, let's check. We'll first look at the server running Datadog's agent. As you can see here, Datadog's agent is running 10.7% memory. So, let's check ours. As you can see, our agent is only running 3%. This is less than a third of that of Datadog's. As you may also see here, the CPU usage on both agents is very high. This is abnormal, and is due to the Python script which is sending huge amounts of data. Under normal circumstances, however, this would be a much lower and conservative number. Another feature that is different between both platforms is the global percentile, which is a very useful tool for determining SLAs and showing what the majority of your customers are experiencing. If we navigate to BeInstant, we can see that we provide 9 global percentiles out of the box, including P50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 99, 99, and 99.99. If we navigate to Datadog, we can see that the global percentile actually is not included by default. This is because the global percentile is currently still in beta stage with Datadog. Not only that, but they announced that they're actually only going to have 5 global percentiles, 
which is 50, 75, 90, 95, and 99. For many people, however, price jumps sell. So let's compare. Looking at Datadog first, we can see that the cheapest plan is $15 per month if paid annually. Or, if you, looked, if you look down lower, we can see it's $18 per month if paid on a monthly basis. This includes 100 custom metrics per host, and if you want more, you must upgrade to the Enterprise version. The Enterprise version starts at $23 per month if paid annually, or $27 per month if paid on a month-to-month -month basis. Now, looking at being instant, we will take a look at our own pricing strategy. We decided to go with a more fair and transparent pricing structure. As you can see, we have very generous free tier with unlimited infrastructure metrics and also 50 custom metrics per host free on up to 5 hosts. Our pro plan starts at $12 and contains many features such as 9 global percentiles per metric, um, 300 plus integrations, unlimited hosts, unlimited container monitoring and up to 5 years re uh, retention with one day resolution. Not only that, but we also provide 100 custom metrics for free on the pro plan and additional custom metrics are available at only $5 per extra 100. So if you want an extra 1000 custom metrics, it only costs you $57 per month. 